how to not hit $5,000 plus a month in profit in the electronic reselling business and struggle forever. So if you don't want to make $5,000 a month in profit or more in this business, you know, make a few hundred dollars, $500, $1,000, $1,500, and you want to struggle forever, do the 17 things we're going to talk about here. If you want to be successful and you want to make $5,000 or more in profit, in this business then do the opposite of these things so the first on how to not hit five thousand dollars plus a month in profit in this business number one don't get 10 plus leads a day only get two to three why is that because some of the leads as we know are going to have items that we're not going to be able to buy right the item is going to be eight years old it's going to have a crack in it and it's selling on eBay for two bucks. It's not worth buying it. Some of the leads we get, we're not going to be able to get them down in price, even with really good negotiating. So in order to be successful, we have to have lots of leads daily in order to go through the leads that we can't do anything with to get the leads that we can do something with and make money with. Because of that, if you don't want to hit $5,000 plus a month in profit, it's very important not to get 10 leads in a day. Get two, three, four, five, but definitely don't get 10 or more. Number two, don't spend enough money on ads to get 10 leads a day. We are starting a business. Most businesses out there require money to be spent on advertising. Let's say that we were gonna start a restaurant, a very traditional business. A, we might have to take out a loan for $100,000 or $200,000, and then we might spend five to $20,000 on ads. But you're above this. So don't advertise, don't spend any money on ads, and if you do, make sure you don't spend enough on ads to get 10 leads a day. You know, only get two, three, four, five. Number three, don't do 10 reach outs a day with the reach out method. The reach out method is a fantastic way to generate free business, and it's an additional way to generate business along with paid ads. Reach out method's fantastic. There's multiple places we can do the reach out method on, and there's different items we can buy. But because we don't want to hit $5,000 plus a month in profit, definitely do not incorporate the reach out method into your electronic reselling success structure. Number four, don't respond to all leads fully. So what is a responding to a lead fully mean? That means that every lead that comes in, we respond to it. We're not cherry picking and saying, okay, I don't think I'm going to close this person and this person's got an item that's a little bit cheaper so, and I'm afraid to make an offer because I'm afraid they're going to reject me. So I'm going to protect my ego while my bank account stays flat and I'm not going to respond to them. Responding to all leads fully means that we're not going to do that. We're going to respond to all the leads even if we're a little bit nervous about making the offer. Responding to all leads also means we're gonna follow up with a lead if they don't accept our offer. We're gonna follow the script. If they don't accept our offer, we're gonna move them to the three levels and then we're gonna move them to the four parts of an effective counter offer and negotiate with the customer. That's all, all that ties into responding to all leads fully. So if you don't want to make $5,000 plus a month in profit, don't do those things. Only respond to a few of the leads. If they don't accept your first offer, don't follow up with them. Don't use good negotiating strategies to get a percentage of the people you're talking to down in price to get them to agree to the price you want to pay for the item, not the price that they want. Don't do any of those things. Number five, do your own negotiating method. Sure, you're not making any real money in the electronic reselling business now, and you're not making the money you want. And we have a proven script to follow that will work for you to help keep, get people down in price, but don't use it. Use your own method because you know best, and I'm sure it's working out so well for you right now. Number six, don't go through the script video four plus times minimum. So my name's Aaron Goldston. I'm one of the coaches in Chris's program, and... I have a script that's copy and paste that we use to get customers to get leads down in price and get them to agree to the price you want to pay for the item, not the price that the customer wants. It's a three hour video and it is everything you need to negotiate and get people down in price while communicating clearly. I have taught this, I can name multiple students that I've taught this to in various programs that are making over $10,000 a month in profit. I can name multiple students that are consistently making over $10,000 a month in profit with the script 
but the script video in full is three hours it's three hours it's everything you need you don't need any other additional training for negotiating but that three hours it's very important if you don't want to be successful to only go through that video once because we as humans and i do this as well we if we're going to go through a three hour video if we go through it again we're almost always going to pick up new information that we didn't pick up the first time something we just kind of forgot or maybe we heard it originally but we forgot about it and we remember oh that's an important thing it's something that I need to do so successful people will go through that script video four plus times minimum that way they can ingrain all the important parts of what's taught in that video into their negotiating it's very important if you don't want to be successful and you want to make less than five thousand dollars plus a month in profit go through that video once and then assume that you remember everything from that video and you don't go through it again number seven listen to someone who is not where you want to be we know what's required to do five thousand dollars a month in profit we've done it we do it and we consistently teach others how to do it but listen to someone else right it's very important to listen to a friend or a family member that's not where you want to be in life on how to be successful and how to reach your income goals it could also be a youtube video let's say there's a youtube video on how to negotiate but the guy that's teaching how to negotiating is teaching how to negotiating for cars a car let's let's say twenty five thousand dollars well, we got inflation let's say it's thirty thousand dollars a car is a lot different sales process than us paying eighty dollars or two hundred dollars for an electronic there's certain things that will work in that car selling and negotiating process that if we use it for negotiating especially for negotiating will hurt us so if you want to struggle it's very important to take negotiating or Facebook ads or really anything that we teach in this business but find someone else that teaches it for another area and apply exactly what they teach to this business and don't tweak it and adjust it for how it's supposed to be in our business in the electronic reselling game number eight don't stick with this for six months a big part of success is sticking with something long enough running into enough problems that you solve it where you eventually get a lot of the kinks ironed out there's a thing if you get one percent better every day after one year you'll be 37 times better after one year you'll be 37 times better so make sure you don't stick with this long enough for that compounding effect to happen and for success to happen make sure you do this just for a little bit and then as you start to get a little bit better solve some problems and then as your skill starts to increase right when you're about to hit that point where you're going to have a massive breakthrough stop at that point number nine don't go through 20 minutes of training in the program five times a week this way you don't get better information and if you don't get better information you can keep you'll be able to keep doing what you've always done which will keep getting you what you've always gotten number 10 don't be consistent with this don't trust the process start then stop then start then stop again success in this business is kind of like getting on the highway for the first time you know when you're getting on the highway on that ramp and all the cars are going super fast and it's almost like wow how can I catch up these cars are going so fast and you have to have a period of time where you take your foot and you put it on the gas and you keep it there for an extended period of time till you catch up with the rest of the cars and then once you're doing you know once you're at the same speed as the rest of the cars then you take your foot up the gas that same process or analogy is what's required to be successful in this business if you want to have success pretty quickly within three to six months but because we don't want to have success we want to struggle and we want to make less than five thousand dollars plus a month in profit don't do that make sure you start make sure you stop then start again then stop again at the whole time and make sure at the whole time you're not trusting the process and doing the approval to work process that we have just kind of do it yourself do what you want to do you know you you think you can do it better so make sure you do it better and you do it the way you think it should be done not the proven to work way while you're starting and stopping number 11 make sure to distract yourself with shiny object syndrome this is very important so make sure that if you do join a program do what the program tells you to do for a week two weeks maybe even a month or two and then go buy another program so buy this program on electronic reselling 
really stick to the program and do what it says. Be very consistent with it for, you know, a few weeks or a month or two, but then go buy another program. Let's say on real estate. You do that for a few weeks or a month or two, then go buy another program on stocks. Then go buy another one on cryptocurrency. Then buy another one on creating info products with click funnels. And just do that for years. That way you can be a jack of all trade, a master of none, and you don't make any real money. It's very important to, if you want to struggle in this business, and make less than $5,000 plus a month in profit to have shiny object syndrome and jump around from thing to thing to thing. Very important to do. Number 12, don't make this business a priority. Think just because you buy a program or watch a YouTube video, you don't need to put dedication, focus, and consistent action into this. Think it will just magically happen for you. Number 13, think someone will save you. Assume that if you struggle, Aaron, Chris, that's, oh, I'm Aaron, Chris is Chris, we all know Chris, this is his YouTube channel, or Matt or Kayla, who's, these are all coaches in the program, assume that one of us will magically show up at your house, <laughs> feel bad for you, and go buy electronics for you, aww. Don't take full responsibility for your success. Number 14. Feel sorry for yourself because that will surely get you what you want in life. It's very important that you feel sorry for yourself and you become a victim because I'm sure by feeling that way, the universe will just magically transform and all of a sudden start giving you exactly what you want, right? Look how well that's worked out for you so far in other areas of your life. Have there been other areas of life where you felt like you're a victim or you feel sorry for yourself? Does anything change? Does the universe magically change to be how you want it to be? Well, of course it doesn't. But because we want to struggle and not make $5,000 plus a month in profit, it's very important to feel sorry for yourself and to make sure you have a bunch of little pity parties. Number 15, think your area is unique it's too there's too many people and it's too competitive oh oh or it's too small and there's not enough business now yes we have proof of students succeeding in this program in very small towns i mean massively small towns all the way to major massive cities there's men and there's women succeeding i i had a student in one of my other programs chris he didn't have a car, was living with his mom, was doing over $1,000 a week in profit. Everyone would come to him. Um, there's another student, I forgot her name. She was like 60 or something years old. She had like a job working like 50, 60-ish hours a week. She was succeeding in this. There's students who are single. There's students who are married. Um, there's students that have, you know, uh, we have students um, that have multiple kids and they have a full-time job and they're able to make this work. And then there's students in the program that don't have any of that and they're able to make this work. But your area is different and your specific situation is different. So it's very important to understand if you don't want to be successful in this business, that your area is different, your specific situation is different, even though we have actual proof of students in the same exact situation as yours, in the same exact area as yours or in a worse area or in a worse situation that's made it worse made it worse but because we're here to struggle it's very important to make sure that you understand your area and your situation is unique number 16 start tomorrow wait till you know everything before you start keep planning watch another youtube video don't actually respond to any leads or do any reach outs because then you might actually have success number 17 do things that we don't tell you to do in this program because you know better. Buy electronics from auction sites. Start a buyback website. You know better than us. So make sure that you do things that we don't teach you to do on how to be successful in this program. Come up with your own plan and do it yourself. And that, my friends, is the 17 ways to make sure that you struggle in this business and make less than $5,000 a month in profit consistently in this business.